Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is Pat, me, talking from my heart. I'm asking you to pray for our young men in this country. Black men, Latino men especially, even American Indians. The reason I'm asking for, for this prayer is because I was inspired to by watching a movie last night. And in this movie, a man was coerced into pleading, putting in a plea bargain for a crime he did not commit because they had him so convinced and so intimidated that if, because he had a prior record, if he pleaded, if he did a plea bargain, he could get out four to six years. But if he did not, he would more than likely do 25 to life. The man did not commit the crime. Now, this is what I wanna share with you. In these last days, and in these corrupt countries, including ours especially, prison is big business. It is a, I mean, you talking about a profitable business. It is modern day slavery. So when they have a person do hard labor, making things, fixing things, working on computers, whatever the case may be, they're not getting paid. They might get $200 for 25 years worth of work. Modern day slavery. So what I'm asking you to do is pray that God brings about a change in this country. Pray that God stops the oppression. Pray that God intervenes, raises up a leader who will war against this thing. He raised up Martin Luther King, did he not? He raised up Martin Luther. He raised up um, Moses. He raised up judges, Joshua, Deborah. He raised these leaders up. And I'm asking you to please pray that God will raise up leaders young leaders, old leaders, doesn't matter, male or female, doesn't matter, and protect them so that they get the world's attention on the atrocities and the injustices of these prison systems. Number two, I saw photographs online of and some videos of prison guards who are no more than criminals themselves. Not all of them, but a lot of them are criminals. They deal dope, they, they, they do prostitution, they, they rape, they molest, they coerce, they have people killed, and they torture. They torture. Now, I may have been wrong, but I saw some prison guards having a, an inmate tied down, chained. He could not even hold himself. And they were using the tasers against his chest and against his groin area. I mean, they were just torturing this poor man and laughing. That was their source of entertainment. I don't even want to guess if the man lived through it, if they tortured him to death, or if they raped him afterwards. I have no idea. But I'm telling you, the prison systems are getting so horrendous. People from prison don't have to worry about going to hell. They're already in hell. Take my word for it. I'm asking you to pray for that write letters, do whatever. But we have got to stop this torture. It makes no sense. It's more merciful for an inmate to die than it is for them to be tortured day in, day out, day in, day out. Come on now. Okay, that's me venting and that's me asking.
for prayer requests because there's so many men in prison and women who have not even committed a crime but they are being tortured they are being oppressed they're being humiliated they're being mistreated and abused beaten raped all kind of mess okay I'm gonna stop because I'm getting emotional but I'm asking you to please pray in the name of Jesus God bless you